an amazing thing when you, you talk about that last drive and, and, and you talk about New England, New England Patriots getting ready to drive down and I'm on defense and Tom Brady and them. I mean, he had one of his best games ever um, in that Super Bowl and he was just hot. You couldn't stop him. And I remember the last play right before they kicked the field goal, um, you know, he threw the ball to a receiver that was right in front of me. And I'm thinking to myself, man, I got to knock this man out and knock this ball out of his hands or the game is over. And I remember, man, I hit him so hard, knocked him about five yards up in the air and, and he catches the ball and he hands his, you know, throw his hands up and they kick the field goal. And at that moment, man, I mean, uh, when, when the game was over, you know what, I, I had so many different feelings about that and now I look back on it and I, and I begin, God began to show me a picture of what that looks like at the end of your life and you know when your clock goes zero, 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 what's going to happen because in the Super Bowl what happens is when you lose it's a rope that comes up on your sideline and it kicks you off the field, they escort you off the field, you're no longer part of the Super Bowl, I never felt so so bad in my life where, where you know two minutes ago everybody was excited about me being on the field, now they're kicking us off the field and, and I say that about you know life you know what team are you on and when you're on the wrong team when that life is over uh, what happens is a rope will come up on that sideline and depending on what team you're on depending on where you go and, and and so God has used the game of football and all these moments good bad for me to explain to people his greatness his, his love and, and you know his grace and his mercy when you start to talk about your faith, you start to talk about Jesus Christ and, and what he means and, and, and being saved and all that stuff. Well, you know, really what it comes down to is it, it gives you meaning. Everybody want to know what, 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 why they're here. They want to know meaning to their life. And, and so, you know, when you talk about young kids, they say, you know, who am I? What, what, what am I here for? When you begin to get into a relationship and plug into Jesus Christ, what happens is, is you begin to understand why. And everybody want to know that. And, and, and so not only why, but then God begins to show you what, you know, how to do it, what to do, when to do it. And, and, and so everything begins to come into, into play. And so I, I will tell people, no, everything is not going to be great. All right. You don't get saved and all of a sudden, you know, from here on out, you're going to walk on water. No, that's not, that's not it. Um, because Christ did go to the cross. You will have your moments where you're going to have to, you're going to have your down moments. You're going to have your moments where you're disappointed. You disappoint yourself. Uh, but at the end of the day, when you have that road map that says, you know what, I'm going this way and I know where I'm going, then again, it gives you that, 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 that hope. And, and so that's what really what it's done for me. It's giving me that road map of where I'm going and why I'm going there. And um, you know, it, but it's been moments, man. It's been challenging times that, that you sit there and you say, okay, God, where are, you, where, where are you at? What are you doing? You know, why do I have to go through I'm losing my mom, um, you know, right before I retired? That was a tough moment. I mean, she'd been there my whole life and been to every game and, and, and to lose her at that moment, God, what you doing? Why are you taking the most important thing to be away from me um, at this moment? I mean, I don't understand. And, and, and so you question, you question, you know, the, you know, are you, are you there? Are you real? Are you, you know, this and that. But at the same time, God always shows up. He always shows up. And, and that's the great thing about him is that he's, he's, he's always going to be there. He's never going to leave you there questioning, and, and, you know, the whole time. He's going to show up and let you know.